is great for anyone whose hair is grown out. Your hair is looking a little bit straggly. Split ends are starting to show. Hi guys, welcome back. If you don't know who I am, my name is Lena. I'm a hair and makeup artist. I'm based in Toronto. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can cut hair because I know how annoying it is that you can't get to your hairdresser. And I know you wanna feel better about your hair. And I'd much rather you wait until the salons are open. If you're itching to cut hair, I'm gonna show you how to do it because I'd much rather you learn how to do it properly than to do a botched haircut. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I trimmed this mannequin hair so that it's all even and at one leg. So let's get right into it. First of all, you wanna make sure that your hair is completely straight. It's dry, it's free of product, there's no sticky residue hanging out, it's not greasy because that will affect the haircut. And I'm brushing it through, making sure that there are no knots anywhere. First thing you wanna do is figure out the parting. Does the person part to the side? Do they part in the middle or do they part to the other side? Always figure out the, the parting by pulling the hair back and then letting it fall over. So just shake it and then you'll kind of see where the parting goes. If you part on both sides, so if the person likes to flip their hair back and forth, you always do a center part so that gives you a clean and even distribution of hair on both sides. Okay, so I'm just using a regular comb. It doesn't have to be an expensive comb. And I'm gonna go to where we call the apex, which is the part of the round of the head right here. And you bring down a straight line. Oh, that's not very straight. All right, straight line to the top of the ear, right there. Okay, so I'm gonna use one of these clips. These are great because they don't leave any dents in the hair. And then you wanna move the person or you can move to the other side and do the exact same thing on the other side. And then if you wanna get up and check and make sure that the lines are feeding, you can do that. Take the clip and section off the other side, just like that. Okay, so now at the back, we said eye level, so the person has to be quite at eye level. Either you can scooch down or the person can stand up. And then you wanna take a clip like the silver clips or this is called a crocodile clip. And you make a straight line right at the nape of the neck and it needs to be as straight as can be. Take your time, don't rush this, it's quite delicate. And bring it down. Grab all of this with your hand. Okay, so I'm gonna clip this away. Now for the scissors. So you might wanna use sharp scissors. These are my professional scissors. I love these because they actually fit right at my hand. So your scissors should be about the size of your hand. I can probably, these are five inch. I can do a 5.5. And you wanna face the person straight on. This is a little bit off, it's not perfect. So for those of you who are OCD, this is gonna bug you. What you wanna do is comb the hair down, right in the center, you wanna start in the center. Grab the hair with your middle finger and your index finger. So you can use the fine tooth comb to get a more accurate feel for the hair rather than the white tooth because you'll lose a lot of the haircut with the white tooth comb. Brush the hair down and literally just take it straight down. Don't pull too hard. And hold it straight out like this. Make sure that your finger is straight, not tilted because we tend to do this a lot. You wanna do this. And sometimes it feels really counterintuitive. Hold the hair down. And this took me a while to learn, so you can put the comb down or not, but I like to hold it with my thumb. Take the scissors and go straight. Across. Straight line. Take the corners, take that corner and line them up. Take that up. And now you wanna take this corner all the way to the back. So you want to take it back into the center. Don't do this. You want to do this. And snip, snip. Then you take both of these ends, bring them down, and make sure that they're right length. So we do have a little bit of hair. A little bit more hair on that side. And that's it. Now we section off the rest of the hair. Continue going in one inch section. Sections. <laughs> across the head. I mean, I can barely work on a mannequin head. If this was a real person, I would make sure that the lines are clean 
and straight. Try to get this line as straight as possible. If you're OCD, I'm sorry, this is not as straight as I would normally get it. It's just mannequin has are really difficult to work with. I'm gonna do the same thing, fine tooth comb, start in the center, and I'm looking straight at her like this. Brush it through, and I can already see the first line that we did, the first haircut is the guide. So once I brush her hair down, I can see that it's starting to actually line up. So I can go ahead and just cut that. The static is insane. Okay, so I'm brushing down. We're doing the same thing. I already gave this part a snip. It can never be too perfect. Just go straight. I'm turning her again this way. And you can see the guide from underneath. I'm gonna move this way towards the side. Again this way. And just keep moving with the round of the head. So you can tell that this side is actually shorter than the other side. So I actually cut less on this side than I did on the other side. Now we wanna measure. Remember, you always wanna measure. Hold these down, make sure that they're the same length on both sides. So here we do see that they are the same length. There's a little bit more hair on that side. So, oh. It's not going to be easy. It takes a lot of discipline to get your fingers straight. It took me years to figure out how to actually cut a straight line. And now I'm just going to go around to the head. Take another section. Line it up with the lines from underneath. So this is great for anyone whose hair is grown out. Your hair is looking a little bit straggly and split ends are starting to show and it's just, un the whole haircut is uneven. You wanna take it slow, take your time, don't rush it. Measure again. So a lot of times because we have less hair on the top than we do over here in the back, you can let the top come down and you'll notice either we have less hair or we have some layers coming in. So those layers are starting to catch up with this length. So you don't actually need to do a huge amount of cutting. I'm going to continue using the fine tooth comb. I'm brushing from the crown of the head, coming all the way down, and I'm scraping against the nape. I'm scraping in all of the hair as I take it down. Now hold it down. You wanna make sure you don't do this, and you don't do this, which I don't think anyone would do, but don't do this because it will make the hair flip out. It would actually layer the hair. Hold it straight, look straight at it, and then cut the straightest line you can. And then just move around the head. Start to see that there's a huge gap here. And now I'm turning towards the other side of the hair and we do the same thing. We connect from the middle to the sides. And you don't want to cut past the knuckles, always just cut between the beginning of the finger to the second knuckle, one inch at a time. Just checking that they're both the same, uh, same uh, length. And now the haircut is nice and even. So usually people have very fine, thin front um, pieces like right here where they have layers maybe or they have some breakage in the front. So with her, for example, I would just brush everything out and cut it. Just take it across and I'm just gonna go for it. Now I'm 
moving into the heavier side of the hair. So this is the part that I would definitely section. So the other part was the thinner part. If you're parting in the center, you want to take your time and section piece by piece. So I sectioned across. Now I'm going to take this piece and I'm lining it up with the rest of the hair. See, we can clearly see that this needs to be cut straight across. And now we want to take the next section. All right, we're going to take this piece and line up all of the lines. Okay, so now that we have cut everything, I can check to see if the, if the hair is similar on both sides and it's not. One side is actually shorter than the other. So what I want to do is try to get it similar. So I'm going to come all the way around. Oh, there it is. I got it. So when I came around, I think what I was doing was I was angling down. So if I were to just straighten my fingers, See that I cut downwards. Turn again. And we can see that huge, it's like a half an inch. It's the same haircut on both sides. And now you can go in and start refining. Take this and see, oh, yep, yeah, it's similar. She just has less hair on this side than this side, so it might seem like it's actually shorter on one side, but it's not. And also keep in mind that most times we have less hair on one side than the other side, so it might actually seem like one side is shorter, but it's actually not. And we also have to allow for the person to tuck one side back. This part of the hair is not always gonna be like this. This is not how we wear our hair. We wear our hair back. So if we were to measure the haircut, it's the same length on both sides. Just make sure that it looks good on camera. All right guys, that's it. This is how you would cut somebody else's hair. I hope you are able to take away some things from this video. Yes, I broke some rules. We always say don't cut your own hair, but if you are gonna do it, I want you to do it properly and I want you to know what you're getting yourself into.